Hey everybody, welcome. Andrew Ames with Golf Academy. As always, a very warm welcome to you wherever you're watching in the world today. I'm going all retro on you today. Um, I have found in a bag an old Ping G10 driver. Ten and a half degree loft fitted with a Proforce V2. That's from UST, really popular shaft this was back in the day. Still probably get hold of it today, but it was fitted a lot to this driver. And I was just curious, I had a half an hour to kill, so I thought I'd do a little look back video, retrospective. So I'm gonna put it up against the latest Ping G. Got them both set up very similar. I thought it'd be very interesting just to compare the numbers. I still get quite a few golfers coming in using this driver. Um, and I, I want to say to them in uh, the nicest possible sense that they're probably missing out on something. It always sounds like I'm giving them the hard sell, what I'm saying, get rid of that driver and get a new one. The only way I can prove that is to actually get them hitting some shots with a new driver compared to their old driver. And when we get over into the hitting area and look at the results, they, they, it's quite different. I'll explain a little bit more why. Anyway, back to the G10, released in 2007, so 10 years old is the G10. It's a 460cc titanium head. It wasn't adjustable. From memory, it came in 9, a 10.5 and, and a 12. May have been an 8.5 version in this. I can't quite remember. I'll maybe flash that up somewhere up here um, just to let you know. They did a draw version as well. They did a 10 and a half degree draw and they might well have done a 12 degree draw for the golfer who tended to lose the ball a bit to the right. Lots of different shaft options. So this is the Proforce V2 high launch. This was a big, big breakthrough driver for Ping. It obviously took over from the G5, which in itself was a great driver, but the G10 pushed the boundaries, incredibly successful on tour. Lee Westwood carried this in his bag for a long time after this club um, came out of their range. And I think he was probably using this off and on anything up to a couple of years ago. You know, you often saw him, you know, at the end of his follow through and it was quite distinctive, this driver to spot with the orange and black. He loved this driver. Um, I think he might still want to use it today. I don't know. Maybe he's in love with his Ping G now, but very, very popular. So I thought it'd be a bit of fun. Do a bit of a comparison, see if the numbers change, give you my view on how a driver which is 10 years old now compares to something which is bang up to date. Let's get over in the hitting area and look at some numbers. Okay folks, over in the hitting area, four shots of each driver. I didn't fudge the numbers. I never fudge the numbers folks. I took four drives of each. I got myself warmed up properly. I hit four drives with G10, four drives with G and they are what they are. Let's get in and look at some numbers. Starting with the G10, first of all. Club speed, just under 100 miles an hour. Ping G, 101 miles an hour. There are reasons for that. Remember that the latest G has, as the G30 did, turbulators. So turbulators, for those of you who are not too sure, are aerodynamic. I'll flash up some um, close-up images of the turbulators. There's six of them on the top here. It's not marketing um, bull. This is definitely has a purpose. The increased club speed by anything up to two to three miles an hour. And we also have on the G the Vortec, which again is aerodynamic. So that's why you've seen the club speed jump a little bit, in my opinion, between the G10 and the G. Okay, back to G10. What were the all important spin numbers? Spin, I was struggling to get down under 3,000. Uh, 2000, uh, 3,000 just averaging, 3,020 I think that says. Lowest spinning one was 2,984. Come down to the spin numbers with the G, 2,600. Did the testing by the way with a Bridgestone Tour B330 RX golf ball. Interest in the spin rates and how the spin rates are affecting now the carry distances. The longest drive I could get carry with the G10 was 241 yards and that was a pretty good strike. Um, I don't feel I could have hit it a lot better than that. Got a 12.6 degree launch from 101 mile of club speed and it carried 241. Going down onto the G, as you can see, spins dropped off by sort of 400 or so, but the average carry distance there uh, was 249 as opposed to 236. So 13 yards extra carry to me is considerable. 
factor in their potential run out and you, you're certainly talking 20 yards maybe a bit more dependent on ground conditions so just under 250 carry the other thing I noticed with the G compared to the G10 was I did get a couple necky I've got one necky with the G10 which was this one I caught this a bit in the heel that's why the distance has dropped off and the spin rate's gone up now I did hit, which one did I hit a bit healy with the G? This one, I think it was from memory. Caught this a little bit necky. Um, sorry, it was this one. It was this one here I just necked a little bit because the spin rate jumped a little bit. But as you can see, it hasn't affected yardage at all. You know, I've still carried that 247. So you don't get this sort of bleed off when you do catch one a little bit necky or a little bit toey with the more modern driver. So here's a question. How many of you out there are still using G10? I'd be very interested to hear if this is still your driver that you game. Don't get me wrong, no criticism here. This was and still is a superb driver, but I do think technology has given us an advantage and it definitely shouldn't be overlooked and it should be tried so the only way you can find this out for sure is to go down to your local fitting center which does ping and try a g10 a comparison against something a little bit more up to date post your comments down below if you use either of these or have used this one and moved on to this one or whatever you've tried quick advertisement before i finish click on the subscribe button for me that would be great if you think the video is worth of a thumbs up give it a little thumbs up all helps me out tremendously thanks for watching i'll be back soon with more videos and take care